It's such a short video, it really doesn't give us much context. So I sat down with former U.S. Attorney Jay Town earlier today to get his thoughts on the video being circulated online of that shooting. In the video, we see the flash, right? Decatur police said he had a uh, handgun with a, a light on it. Um, is there anything telling from this? Is there anything that investigators can gather? Does it, did he fire a shot? Could it have been the flashlight on the gun? That Just that moment right there? At, well, you can see like, the flashlight mm -hmm. in the video, right? It's ambient in the video because this is a, this is a, a night filtered uh, camera. And so you can see there in the sort of the uh, top quadrant of the screen um, where there is something in his hand um, that has a flashlight on it. Again, if that is, if we can see the flashlight, remember it, the the pistol is here and the flashlight is here. If we can see the light on the flat on the on the firearm, uh, that means the firearm is pointed up. Um, so that is, I, I think, something investigators were certainly certainly look at um, at who it was pointed at. But just the fact that that muzzle is raised is is a problem um, that uh, the police face too often, um, and a lot of times it's going to end with deadly force being used because. It takes nanoseconds to um, uh, point that uh, weapon in a, in, a, in a way that is going to be deadly to an officer or others. You know, look, we need to wait. There's no doubt we all need to wait until um, uh, Decatur PD and the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, um, that those investigators can do what they do. They're professionals. They do this all over the state. This happens everywhere. Um, and uh, I think that um, we will learn more from them. It, it, we don't want to. I don't want to look at these videos and say DPD did the right thing. I also don't want to look at these videos and say it was a bad shoot. I think both would be unfair conclusions. Now I've seen enough of these videos in, in my career to sort of have an idea, an informed judgment. But until I see it all, that judgment is not completely informed. So um, let the investigators play this out. Everybody, if you want to protest, stay peaceful. Um, you don't know any more than I do, and I know more than you do just because of my experience. And you can watch my entire sit down with J-Town right now on WayTV.com and on our Way 31 News app. Of course, we'll be sure to pass along the very latest details there on this case as well as we learn more.